With Donald Trump's criminal trial starting yesterday, I think it's important to point out the fact that Donald Trump is still laboring under the delusion that going through this trial is somehow going to help him in November. About a week and a half ago, Donald Trump came out and he said, you know, these trials are going to help me. They're going to make me more popular, right? You had last week, Eric Trump came out and boasted about the fact that every time my dad goes into the courtroom, he rakes in millions of dollars. And I think that's a bit of an exaggeration, but not to mention the fact, that even if it were true, Eric, every time your dad walks into a courtroom and he, you know, makes millions of dollars that afternoon by sending out that fundraising email saying they treated me harshly. Ooh, I'm so sad. Send me money. He's not using that money that he's getting to run campaign ads. He's not using it to pay for more rallies. He's using it to pay for being in court. So even if he is raising millions off of it, he's not using it to run for president. He's using it because he's in court and needs that money to pay his idiot lawyers. So none of it's working out for him, but Trump still maintains that this is somehow going to help him win in November. He even thinks that if he gets convicted, his poll numbers are going to go through the roof. And the reason that I'm talking about that is because obviously literally every poll tells us that the opposite is true. If Trump gets convicted in this case, which is, there's a very high probability that that happens. And if it's a felony charge, if it's not a charge that gets reduced to a misdemeanor, which could happen. So that's something to kind of keep an eye out for. But if it's a felony conviction, Biden wins the election. I mean, I've talked in detail about the, you know, minutia of those polls. I've gone into every little detail and picked them apart and talked about those. So I don't need to do that again here, but basically a conviction for Trump, all the swing States move in favor of Biden because enough voters say, I will not vote for Trump if he is, has a conviction. So it's over if he gets a conviction. November is hinging on what happens in this Manhattan hush money trial. But Trump, for some reason, either because he's trying to put on a brave face or because he genuinely doesn't understand, thinks this is going to help him and what it will help him with, because I do think to a degree, it's going to give him some benefit. What it's going to help him with is solidify his base, but they're already solidified. So you're just reinforcing the people that were already going to move heaven and earth to make sure they show up to vote for you in November. So technically that's not even actually helping you. And what's more is that every time Donald Trump sends out a fundraising text message or email or bid on social media, which he has done dozens per day, he's doing it with the false narrative that all of these prosecutions, all the criminal charges are being directed by president Biden himself. I am a victim. He tells them the system is coming after me because they want to come after you, but I'm the one standing in the way, right? So you're not going to win new voters with that talking point because once again, the polls have showed that a majority of people want to see the justice system in action. They do not believe that the cases should be dismissed. They believe the charges against you are serious and they want these trials to take place before the election because their vote is going to hinge on what happens during these trials. If he gets acquitted and I'll add this, if he gets acquitted, he'll win in November. That will sway people. It will make them actually think that these were rigged trials trying to take down Biden's political opponent. So. That is something that those of us on the left, like we got to worry about that to a degree, because if he gets acquitted, he's going to be the president for the next four years and possibly longer as we've talked about. So there is a danger with these trials. It's a small danger, but it's a danger nevertheless. But Trump's constant whining about it. His claiming that I'm the victim, poor pitiful me. Oh, I'm so sad and sorry. He's not winning people with that. He thinks it's a winning message, but all it's doing is showing people that he is a very scared 77 year old man whose life is crashing down around him through his own making. They don't have sympathy for that. And they damn sure don't want to vote for that in November.